Hey guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another vlog. I'm going back up to Crystal Palace today with Tommy. I'm outside his house. Where are you from at the moment? Three points separate Crystal Palace and West Ham with West Ham currently on their way out of a relegation battle. But a loss here today could very easily see them slip back into one. My dad as a Leeds fan is definitely going to be hoping for a Palace win today. But those travelling West Ham fans are going to be dying for three points. With that being said, Crystal Palace have been in fine form of late. Elise and Eze proving to be wonders under Roy Hodgson since his reappointment. But without further ado, ladies and gents, let's just get up there and hope for a good game of football as always. Big game. Tommy, it's a pleasure to have you back on the channel, mate. How are you Love feeling it. for the game today? Not too bad, mate. Um, I don't think it's going to go Palace's way, but I think we're going to put on a good show, like we always do. Um, but it's just the same as every other game if we can put it in the net. West Ham are on a good run at the moment, so it's a little bit tricky to call because Palace, since the uh, reappointment of Roy Hodgson, have looked decent as well. So it's going to be a tough game. But to give you guys my score prediction, I'm very, very sorry, Palace fans. I'm going to go for a West Ham win. I think it's going to be 2 0 West Ham. Lucas Paqueta, absolutely. Yeah. Baller, he's been playing really well at the moment. Yeah, he's going to be a danger man for West Ham. Big time, big time. Let's just get ourselves into the stadium, see what happens. Thomas, mate, before we go in, what are your score predictions? I'm optimistic for Palace, but I think realistically West Ham on a good run. So 2 1 West Ham. I don't mind that at all. Nathan, mate, what is your score prediction for today? Going 3 0 today. Big dubs. And last but most certainly not least, what's your score prediction, mate? 4 1. 4 <laughs> 1 to the Palace. Louis, by the way, what a little legend. Shout out. <laughs> Kickoff's been delayed by 15 minutes because there was a problem trying to get supporters into the stadium. The West Ham fans have managed to get in okay, and so far they've been making a lot of noise, so fair play to them. But I'm expecting that Palace stand to fill up in the next half hour or so. Out come the two teams, it's a big clash in this mid table. Such a young age. Is he going to be the man to make a difference today? Or will the likes of Zaha and Elise be able to make a difference to Palace today? This man has been leading a revival of Crystal Palace since his arrival. But it all comes down to now. Good turn up for the Palace fans eventually. Since they've been able to get into the stadium. Good atmosphere. We are underway, ladies and gents. <laughs> Neither corner was defended particularly well by Palace and Selhurst Park is absolutely silent. You can hear a pin drop. There's still enough time for them to work their way back into this game, but it's a terrible start for Palace. <laughs> Open things up in the Selhurst Park. Zoom is off with an injury replaced by O'Connor. All I can say is me out. <laughs> It is goals 
sell her sponsor today. I don't know what I'm seeing. 3 1 up now. And it's Jeffrey Shrub. Big goal. West Ham corner, can they find a way back into this game? They really need a goal before half time. And it's turned in at the back post. And West Ham have got a way back into this now. Another poor showing defensively from Crystal Palace from the set piece. And it allows West Ham back into this game. Palace have been the better team. But their defending of set pieces has been terrible. Those West Ham fans feeling a little bit more hope. Five minutes ago in the first half, you don't see that often. They're both for a free kick, Palace's way. And that's half time. Roy Hodgson will be the happier of the two managers. Palace have been the better side. David Moyes' team has got a lot of work to do. Five. Goals. It's ridiculous, mate. Give me your thoughts on the first half. Mental half. As soon as West Ham scored their first, I thought, yeah, that's it. Game over. I think Zuma getting injured was quite big. Yeah, big time. Um, kind of rattled the West Ham defence. And then Paris went on a nuts run and scored three goals in like 10, 15 minutes. To go 1 0 down and then 3 1 up, you said at the beginning of the game that Palace scoring is going to be the biggest yeah, thing. And they've proved me wrong. They've got, they've got three. It's a Roy Hodgson effect. Where do you think this goes for the second half now? Because our predictions are all out the window. Personally, I think it's going it's going to be quite a slow second half. I think both teams are going to be a little bit cautious mm. and it's going to be a bit of a possession day. Yeah. Um, so I don't see many goals in the second half, especially with Alman and Levin first. So yeah. I think it's going to be quite a slow second half. That's it, that's it, I agree. I think the next goal is crucial. That's the most important thing, whichever team gets our next goal. So, do you think you're going to take it? Uh, I think Pally, if, if they can hold on, but they have a tendency to let in late goals. So, I can see a draw, but hopefully Palace come out and they have the, have the second half the same as the first. Absolutely. Palace have by far been the better side. It's just those two set pieces that they conceded. They've been terrible at conceding set pieces, but go and see what the second half's got for us. Well, underway for the second half. Tipped oh! over the bar brilliantly by Fabianski, but Elise once again taking matters into his own hands. Oh. Obviously, it's going to be checked. Wilfred Zaha has got a chance from the penalty spot. Check is taking place. And it is a penalty. Zaha was the one holding the ball, but Eze is the one who puts it on the spot. Well, Tommy was right when he said that it's going to be a slow start. It's taken 20 minutes for the first goal of the second half, but it's 4 2 Palace and it's their game to lose. Danny Ings is coming on the pitch. Luca Paqueta makes way. Is he going to be the man to make the difference for West Ham? West Ham is down. I think it's Declan Rice who turns this one away. Geeing up the West Ham fans. They've got something to play for now. You just don't know which turn this game is going to take next. It is ridiculous. Another corner goal for West Ham. Palace still leading, but they really need to defend their set pieces better. West Ham have not been good this game. They've just been affected from corners. to maybe find an equaliser or Palace to hold on. And it is another corner right at the end. West Ham have scored three. This could be a fairy tale ending for the Claret and Blue boys and a nightmare finish for Palace. Yes! Palace survived for now. 
That feels like a pivotal moment in this game. It feels like with that, Palace surely hang on. Still about three more minutes left. There's still time for anything to happen. Things are heating up. Palace fans want the whistle blown. And West Ham fighting to try and get this point. Palace by far the better team over the 90 minutes, but West Ham came back fighting three goals from set pieces. Palace really need to improve going forward when it comes to that area of defence. But West Ham throughout, you can see why they are where they are on the table. Poor display over the 90 minutes, and the West Ham away section empties. The Roy Hodgson impact continues. Palace pick up another impressive win. The those West Ham players seriously need to improve if they want to stay up. They're back in the relegation fight now. The teams are them could pick up a good result. Anderson put on a brilliant show today and cancelled Antonio out the game. Their tussle was one of the most entertaining things to watch this fixture. And those Palace fans Absolutely loving life. Great display from them. So, ladies and gents, that does bring to an end the Crystal Palace vlog. And I've got to start this off by saying a massive thank you to Tommy and your dad, Scott, for sorting me out with the ticket. I very much appreciate it. And what a game it was, ladies and gents. Seven goals, end-to-end -end stuff throughout. And a great performance for Crystal Palace as well. I've been quite critical when I've been down here before. Palace haven't been playing the best football, but clearly Roy Hodgson, at least for the short term, is a man for the job. He's got the best side of the group that he's got. And it'll be interesting to see if he stays on next season and where they finish but one thing is for certain West Ham need to improve I am going to be going to the London Stadium to watch their fixture against Leeds in a few weeks time so stick around for that because you're not going to want to miss it it's going to be crucial but thank you for watching as always ladies and gents I will see you in the next one take care peace and love